We them ninjas, we them ninjas, yeah. Chop it up like a blender, quick, fast, cut your grass, yeah. Chop it up like a blender, quick, fast, cut your grass, yeah. Chop it up like a blender, save it green, be the team. We gon' pull up on the scene, cut your grass by any means. It started out as just a dream, like big, like big, and now we the best in the city, like big, like big, and now we the best in the city. Pull up, pull up, pull up. What's going on, all my lawn care ninjas? What is going on? How you been? How you doing? What you been up to? You sitting on Granny's couch? Hmm? Hmm? Hey, speaking of Granny's couch, it is Wacka Granny Wednesday. Wacka Granny Wednesday, and we've just been doing a couple of little granny yeah. yards, just a little bit here and there, trying to stay busy. Uh, this is what I call busy work. You know what I mean? We just kind of find work to do. You know, whether it's the last bit of leaf cleanups, whether it's you know cleaning out the beds kind of what we did this morning i didn't yeah. record anything there but we we did clean out some beds and uh then what did we do then uh after that we swung by uh a, a mechanic uh yeah a mechanic. mechanic a mechanic we swung by a mechanic why did we do that bam bam oh but hold up hold up <laughs> how you doing bam bam I'm all right. It's another day. It's another yeah. day slicing and dicing slicing and dicing that's right all right so why did we go buy a mechanic What's wrong with Tiny? Is Tiny having little, um, what would you call it? What did I say earlier? A little drippy drippy. That's right, Bam Bam. A little drippy drippy little driplets. Uh, what I mean by that is what? Tiny's got a leak? Yep. Tiny has got a little leak that we just, I caught it. Um, we suspected something's going on right. for a little while. Yeah, for, for a while, yeah. A little end of last season? Yeah, for yeah, the last couple of months. Yeah. And we were kind of just shooting ideas between each other, like, what could it be? Yeah, we, where we is never, it going? Yeah, What's it never, doing? We never could find a puddle or anything, so we're like, we're, we kept racking our brains on where it was at. And I know by now, ninjas, you're like, but Nick, what are you talking about? Don't give me the Nick. I, I know what I'm talking about. I'm about to tell you, ninjas, what I'm talking about. You hear me? Mm -mm -mm -mm. Hold on. Mm -mm. <laughs> anyway, there was something on the lens, but... Uh, so we were wondering where the heck is it going, and I know by now you're like, but what are you talking about? Ing, ing, ing. I'll tell you. Hold on. Calm down, ninjas. So uh, we'll get to that part. I'll tell you in a minute what I'm talking about. Uh, so, you know, and where I park, you can't really tell if there's ever a leak or anything, you know, right. because I'm parking over there on the little side of my driveway, somewhat oh. of a driveway. I'm doing a new driveway, by the way, ninjas. I'm doing a new driveway, okay? Um, uh, you know, it's gravel and all that and grass and whatever. You can't see that. So, you know, but every couple of days I'm noticing like, where's it going? I'm having to top it off. What's going on with it? And um, yes, was it yesterday? We were yeah. rotating tires. Yeah. So yesterday we rotated Tiny's tires, you know, every 3,000 miles, you want to rotate the tires. By the way, Ninjas, you want to rotate the tires if I didn't say that every 3,000 miles, right? Yeah, right. Why did well, I speak so well, fast? But Depends, you know, regular tires you can do them every 5,000 miles which is every oil change but but if you got mud claws yeah, mud, <laughs> mud terrain tires it's every 3,000 yeah, miles so I tried to do it every 3,000 miles sometimes a little sooner sometimes I tried definitely not to pass every you know over 3,000 miles but anyway uh, so as we were doing that you know the first thing you want to check of course is your brake pads and brakes and things of that nature and I'm just like you know always check that stuff while the tires are off and being rotated and then I remembered of, uh, you know, the thing that's constantly missing out of the engine that we keep having to top off. And I'm like, well, let me, while we are already out and about piddling with Tiny and his, uh, his shoes, let's, uh, let me look. And so I crawl underneath the truck and I look and I'm like, hey, bam, bam. And he goes, yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, hey, bam, bam. And he's like, yes, sir. I said, hey, come here. And uh, do you remember that thing that was missing out of Tiny? We keep having that. And he's like, yeah. And I'm like, hey, I think I found the leak. It's, uh kind of wet down here <laughs> Get a little moist a little moist <laughs> so i was like hey bam, bam come here we got a little drippy drip wet spot down here uh looks like i found finally uh the leak of where it's going because you know we've constantly been having to top it off and he's like really let me look let me look he tried to drag me up out of my feet like trying to uh, i'm like oh, God, dude, i'll get out i'll show you relax <laughs> Uh, anyway, it is a hose. We think it is a what do you call those? The, the T. Well, the, it's uh, what, we think it's the O-ring on the actual T itself. Yeah, the O-ring on the T itself. There's a little T that's connected to uh, three different hoses. Right. Um, and so we think it's the T because the hoses look good, but 
uh, not yeah. sure if we're going to have to replace the whole hose or not. Yeah, it depends on if we can order it without the hoses or not. Right. So but the, if, if we do get the hoses, it makes sense to run ahead. So a lot of you ninjas, I, as you remember, now the tiny's out of warranty, I have found my, uh, thanks to Bam Bam, because that was a recommendation from Bam Bam, I found my mechanic. He's my go-to guy. I pretty much text him, call him, send him videos, pictures, clips. Um, you know, my morning pancakes and stuff, but, <laughs> <laughs> you know, and I'm like, Hey, you know, this is what's going on. So, uh, I sent that to him yesterday and we finally got on the phone and he was like, Hey, can you just bring it by? Do you have a few minutes? Can you just go ahead and, you know, bring it by and, uh, you know, I'll take a look at it and, uh, we can see what it is. I'm like, yeah, 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 sure. You know, well, why not? So we stopped by real quickly and he checked it out and he confirmed that's what it was so it, it, it took him all of maybe five minutes to confirm yeah well it's, we, we knew we found it I, I mean we i found the leak so uh we're not sure you know if he's gonna have to order the whole hose or the, just the t-part and i'll go down underneath the truck and i'll show you is it oil leak no no is it brake fluid leak no is it windshield wiper leak <laughs> i hope not <laughs> well, no, it's the wrong hose if it is <laughs> Did you say wrong hose? That's what I said. Wrong hose. <laughs> so the hose that's leaking and that we've been constantly having to top off the liquid is... Hold on, drum roll. Wing. Coolant. That's right, Ninja. So we have a coolant leak and I've been having to constantly add some antifreeze uh, every couple of days. Just now it's a habit to constantly check. So yeah, that's tiny, you know, well, you know, Ninja's 106,000 miles, you know, it's... It happens. Uh, yeah. Especially as hard as Tiny works. Yeah. Well, you know, he's he knows he's so hot, he, he's dripping. <laughs> Me and Bam Bam, we got something coming up, don't we? We do. We have something coming up in Atlanta, Georgia. Georgia. Remember that song? Georgia. Ooh. Maybe. Uh, that's a hard maybe. Pop it like it's hot. So, as you can see, when we were at the mechanics, I went ahead and added a little bit again. And it's already a little bit lower. Well, but, it was, but, but some of it probably it's, it's cycled. It's inside of the motor, uh, yeah. Mechanic told me to not click this. He goes, if you want to just, what did he say? How did he word it? Leave it a little on, uh, leave, loose. Uh, leave it loose, yeah. Um, because he goes, that way it doesn't build up pressure, because if it builds up pressure... That's what's causing the leak. Yeah, the it's going to leak a lot faster and stuff. So I have tightened it, of course, but I haven't gone with that uh, click, click, clickety click. Yeah. So the T that I'm talking about, Ninjas, is right chia right here where my fingers at maybe i can turn my light on you guys can see better right there and it's not leaking now that maybe it helped that we left that loose up there that cap but also we noticed it's not really leaking when we drive it it's really when it's parked for a day or for a weekend and uh then all that antifreeze just settles i guess so but it's this hose right here and as you can see it's a very short hose there's another connector right there so the hose looks good but what we noticed where it's the most drippity drip wet wet it's on this t and this t you see it goes like that and then it goes like that it's connected to this and it's connected over here and it's connected right here uh yeah so that's what it is. I'm not sure if some of you inclined mechanic ninjas out there know what this hose is or what the name to this particular hose is. Uh, feel free to leave a comment and let me know because that would help. Um, but what did he say? He believes it's the the O-ring. The O-ring on the uh, on the T on itself. the T itself. So you know. But anyway, that's what we finally found that I found out where it was going because uh, I'm getting it's getting pretty old constantly having to make sure that I add enough antifreeze so I don't of course overheat so uh, seems like a simple fix uh, you know whether it's just the tea itself or even if I have to replace this whole hose or something you know but uh, he'll get back to me as far as ordering the part and then letting me know you know to get it in and get it replaced. I'd rather have him do it or I could do it. It doesn't really matter. It depends how long. He goes, it's better, of course, to do it when the engine is cooled down. So uh, one of the things with this is you're gonna have to flush the whole antifreeze, of course, because it will come out. Everything will come out. All its guts and glory and um, all that. Yeah, so there's that. That's, that's the problem right there. So, you know, good old tiny, man. 105, 106,000 miles. I mean, this truck is 
is a beast, man. It's working nonstop, and I mean, little little thing like this is it's bound to happen, I guess. So, but everything else looks good. Everything else looks good. Tiny is uh, for for the year and the miles. Tiny is a very clean truck. So, all right, let me let, let me get one. Oh, what? The, give me a fucking hand. <laughs> hey, Tiny's like drip too hard. <laughs> Michael is not a master mower no more. Michael has opened his own dealership. Um, so on March 13th, me and Bam Bam will be there. It's an open house. Uh, anybody who's in Georgia, of course, or near the Atlanta area, welcome to be there. Uh, join us. We can all just check out all the equipment that Michael will be selling. I'm so proud of that guy. Yeah. I mean, that's just amazing to, you know, working for a dealership and now he's got his own dealership. And um, we will have a cookout, as I mentioned earlier. We will have uh, maybe some games and things. I'm not really sure. I think Michael mentioned something with some games and stuff for kids. So it'll be kid friendly. If a lot of you ninjas have little ninjas, <laughs> <laughs> bring them by. I think uh, it'll be fun. And uh, we can meet as well. Bam Bam will be here. I'll be, I mean, Bam Bam will be there. I'll be there. Uh, we can all meet, hang out, talk, get to know each other, talk about business, uh, talk about plans for this upcoming year. And uh, you excited? Yeah. I'm super yes. excited. So March 13th, it'll be an all day thing. I'll be there all day from morning till evening. Um, I will have all the information as far as the address the store name number address michael's information it'll be all down below in the description uh so you're welcome uh if some of you want to message me on instagram let me know if you're coming that'd be great uh if you're not sure you know that's fine if you can't make it it's cool you know uh, but that will be my new dealer when michael told me that he's moving i was like really like devastated like really but I gotta go what right is, right? So, right, <laughs> right, <laughs> right. So, you know, it is what it is. But he's got many brands. There'll be many other brands, and you ninjas who are not in the state and are all around the country, scattered in the world, uh, you know that when I am going to the dealership, I will be making the videos. So, it'll be probably a long video, and I'll have probably multiple parts to it. But, uh, so, you know, stay tuned on that. I'm super excited. I am so pumped. It's, it's gonna be so much fun, man. Yeah. The only bad time. The only thing is the bad timing. Bad timing? Yeah. Why? Because that's when we're supposed to be doing all the aerations and stuff. Oh, well, the season's they, they, taking yeah, off. These, these yeah. things always take place either the at the end or the beginning. Yeah, I mean, like you know, season, the, so. you know, it's either when you get the expo, it's the end of the season when all the aerations are kicking in, or something like this. Obviously, it's perfect timing for opening a store. Yep. But. As things are uh, kicking off right now for all you know, getting ready to for all the lawn care guys, but. You know, it's one day, we'll manage, you know, but yeah, me and Bam Bam will be there. All the information will be in the description. So, come on, you know, look forward to meeting anybody who shows up. And of course, I'll be there with Michael. All the reps will be there from all the de uh, manufacturers that he will be carrying. Um, and like I said, we'll have food. It'll be a blast, man. It'll be fun. So, yeah, I hope to see you there, whoever shows up. Um, but I definitely, uh, we will be there and we will have a blast. And I have a lot of questions for the reps, a lot of uh, new products that Michael will be carrying that Master Mower did not have. So I'm, it, I'm curious to see what all of it is. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, the, it's, the curiosity's killing me. Oh, 